Hey guys, are you guys ready for part two of crazy teacher dress codes? Here we go. Y'all, this teacher said that her principal required them to do extra duties if she caught a teacher wearing sandals with their toes out that did not have a fresh pedicure. Okay, listen. All right, I don't know how she can tell the difference between a fresh pedicure and not. The only time that a pedicure looks really fresh is, I don't know about y'all, is when you get the gel kind. And that was expensive. And we teachers, who paying for that? This teacher said that she was given socks to cover her feet because fragments of her foot tattoo showed through her strappy sandals. Okay, listen, I know we have a dress code to follow. Can we pretend though, just to have a little bit of a fashion code to follow? Cause y'all, where in the world they put socks on the strappy sandals at? And this rule right here says guys, no jeans at all, including denim jackets. Y'all, with this one, we'd all be out of luck. Cause I don't know about y'all, but I love wearing a denim jean jacket with my cute dresses, with a cute top. Come on. It says simply, no pants with double stitched seams. Okay, listen, I don't know why they coming for the seams. Why they coming for the seams? And who getting down here and examining pants seams? Okay, listen, guys, I'm not the best uh, as far as sewing. Let's just be for real, I don't sew at all. So I don't know nothing about the difference between one stitch versus two. So I'm, I'm gonna need help understanding the seam thing. This one is not only wrong, it's straight up embarrassing. So the principal declared that nobody teacher-wise could wear capris anymore, okay? Because one teacher wore capris one time and they were a little too short. And so that day he made her tape paper to the bottom of each of her capri legs to make them long enough to be appropriate. Oh, I'm sorry. There is no way that I'd be walking around school looking like that. Okay, the kids already be trying to come for us anyway. We ain't trying to give them bait. This rule says, bottoms must be darker than the top. What's the deciding factor? What goes into it? Does it have to be something like you see in art class where it, like it's like a slow fade from light to dark? I mean, and, and what exactly is the, the reasoning behind it? <laughs> I can already tell you right now, with this one, I'm out. Okay, at this school, their principal still requires them to wear pantyhose nowadays. I'm sorry, I don't even know, can you even buy pantyhose in the store anymore? I mean, I've been to the store lately, but I don't even know where they sell pantyhose anymore. No, just no. Okay guys, this one says, the rule is, no more than six pockets and pants. Who is counting pockets? And if you got time to count pockets, you clearly need to get somewhere and sit down and go find something else to do. There's plenty of stuff to be done around the school than counting pockets. This one says, no jeans while virtual teaching. Okay, <laughs> all right, let's just be for real. But most of the virtual teaching, we're usually not wearing any, you know what? Never mind. I'm not gonna say that on camera. <clears throat> I'm sorry, this took me out. We can wear jeans at our school every six days and admin keeps track when we last wore them so that we don't cheat. Does this even need a reply? Admin, bruh, you know what? I'm not gonna even insult you. <sighs> okay, listen, this says curly hair should be flat ironed. Okay, listen, <laughs> who doing it? Because flat ironing our hair takes hours. Okay, we done already taught all day. We're exhausted. You want me to come home and flat iron what hair? Who? You better pay somebody to do it if you want it done, because I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. It takes forever. I'd have to quit. 